Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine playthrough series. This is Space Marine 1, released in 2011, developed by Relic Entertainment, published by the old THQ. I, um, what am I trying to say here? Space Marine holds a very special place in my heart. Uh, the sequel, Space Marine 2, is coming out uh, next month on September the 9th. But the original game is very near and dear to me uh, because this was my first professional uh, game project that I was involved in as a, as, a, as a newbie, a newcomer into the game development uh, industry. I was a tester uh, back in the summer of uh, 2011. They brought me in along with some other fresh-faced recruits to, to help uh, final the single-player campaign. But more importantly, uh, they, they needed us to uh, playtest the multiplayer modes of uh, Space Marine, which, was, which were only just coming together very late in development. So I only worked on this game as a tester for about uh, three to four months, thereabouts. So I feel like a bit of an imposter almost saying that I worked on this game, but you know, credits are credits. And uh, <laughs> uh, this was a very important job for me uh, as I was uh, just graduated from game college, I guess you could call it. And it was my very first job and uh, allowed me to basically springboard myself into uh, some junior design jobs after this, uh, leading to uh, more contract work as a designer and eventually found myself working in live operations and my current position now where I work as a producer. Uh, so very important, everyone's got to start somewhere and Space Marine was my start. So I'm very nostalgic for this game and I'm very happy to be doing this playthrough as a means of hyping myself up for the sequel next month. So as a QA tester, I did become quite versed in completing the single player campaign to the point where I feel like I could, you know, play through the game blind blindfolded on hard difficulty. Um, those days are well behind me as uh, I did try to play this game again a couple years ago when they first announced the sequel. Uh, and I got excited, so I uh, tried replaying the game. Uh, I streamed it a couple times, and I played on hard difficulty. Was doing okay until I hit a, a, a breaking point where, you know, it, it, my skills, it became apparent my skills were not up to what they used to be. I will just be doing the single player. I know there's still a small multiplayer community here. I never was very good at multiplayer, and particularly uh, multiplayer for this game was no different. Uh, I would frequently be taken to the cleaners by my fellow uh, testers in the studio. <laughs> but yeah, I would do my do my level best to at least uh, try and keep up. And uh, you know, my my primary role was, of course, just to log bugs and uh, check to make sure that the game was of uh, utmost quality before it was released to the public. Not gonna change too much in terms of gameplay options. There aren't a whole lot to speak of. If you're a PC player who likes to fiddle with options, it's a pretty pretty pared down. But yeah, I will be playing on a controller, and I think we'll leave the uh, master volume at 60 for now. If it turns out that the dialogue comes out a little bit uh, low then for future episodes, I will crank up the uh, volume and uh, adjust from there. So without further ado, enough of my preamble, uh, let's get into this first stretch of uh, the Space Marine campaign. I will be playing on hard, and uh, for this episode, we're going to run about 45 to 60 minutes, and then I think each sub subsequent episode will be about 45 to 60 minutes in length. I think I think that's a good that's a good chunk to go through each each time. All right, away we go. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet already, uh, please uh, hit the thumbs up uh, button below the video and uh, consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps out uh, me as I make these videos and uh, makes me feel good uh, to know that people are watching and enjoying my, my work. New campaign. Oh, we are going hard. Enemies will inflict increased damage and will do everything they can to annihilate you. You will need to use all the tools at your disposal to win. You will die often. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I feel like I should play on hard. There's a bit of, there's still a bit of that QA tester pride in me. Uh, and, you know, if I struggle, then I'm just going to have to uh, get better at playing. Also, a further note, I will either be completely silent or turn off my mic uh, whenever there's a cutscene or a cinematic uh, I will do my best to also read any uh, descriptive text uh, from uh, audio uh, from not some audio logs some text logs and I will not skip any auto audio logs that I pick up so this will try to be as uh, as faithful as a playthrough as possible not rushing through anything not skipping any uh, story bits or cinematics or talking over cinematics. So I just want to set the ground rules uh, right off the bat, and uh, let's begin. Yes, I do want to start fresh. Captain Titus, the Orcs have massacred the Forge World's forces. And they have taken the planetary defense weapons. Clever of the damned Orcs. Keeps us off their backs while they loot the Titan war machines. Brace for evasive maneuvers. Pilot, report. Starboard engine is dead, Sergeant. We're losing altitude. Get the ship to safety and find another way down. Hi, Captain. Thunderhawk 
This is your plan. We need to get to the surface to take out the gun battery. Or do you want to go home already, Sergeant? Not before having a word or two with the orcs. Is that wise, Captain? The Codex Astartes does not support this action. Try to keep up. And here we are. Just want to pause briefly before getting into the combat. Um, it's it's interesting that uh, the opening sequence is, is essentially just text. <laughs> There's a text conversation going on, but yet it still manages to build up the hype, especially once they type out the words or the commands, uh, deploy the ultramarines. And it's like, oh yeah, hell yeah, let's go. And uh, interesting tidbit, uh, the sequence, or the sequence right before I land, where I, you know, free fall from the Thunderhawk, the, the ship that's carrying the Space Marines, uh, that originally, when I first joined the team, that used to be an on-rails, a very limited on-rails interactive sequence, where I would try to guide myself as I drop down to the surface, and I would avoid things and shoot a few things, and it actually was quite a lengthy sequence for to kick off the first moments of gameplay. And they cut that, uh, obviously. Um, yeah. I think it's for the better. I think it's for the better. Okay, uh, let's get on with it. Planetfall. Reach planet surface. Reach the surface of Forge World Graia. Let's see if I can find all these servo skulls as well. I've been playing a lot of shooting games lately, and I'm so used to hitting the X button to reload, that's going to trip me up quite a bit. Give me some health. <laughs> Off you go into the abyss. Love the sound of uh, achievements. Get rid of these gunners. 
Uh oh. Let's die here. Uh oh. Yeah. As I was saying, now I only have the shields working for me, so I should have shot that ages ago. Health. The only bad thing about doing those uh, executions is that you can still get hurt. You're not invincible. goes shoot until you're dry and then resort to melee I love late title cards in general. Captain Titus, come in. Damned orc shot me off course. I've had no word from Leandros, but I'm picking up box chatter from Imperial Guard forces on the ground. I scarcely thought anyone would be left alive, much less still fighting. Heading towards the front lines now. I will meet you there. Rendezvous with squad, reach squad mates Leandros and Sedonis. Whatever, it's too early to find a servo skull. I never was much of a collectibles person. To 100% find everything in a game. Very rare, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if I get the itch to collect all these skulls. There could be some bias showing through, uh, but I will say that the game, visually, still holds up really really well against all odds you gotta do that slow pan that uh, people like to do when they're demoing, demoing a game to the public the first time Alright, give me a real weapon. I'm ready for a real weapon. Yes. Yes, I know the aim and fire already. Here I was thinking there's a servo skull hiding back here. Remain calm. Evacuate in orderly fashion. Public disturbances will not be tolerated. You know, I 
could have swore there's something hiding back here. <laughs> oh, what do we shoot? Well, clearly, I'm not good at finding these things, and uh, this was a bit of a red herring. The way they designed this level. Alright, well. Let's talk about pick up a real weapon. The Emperor be with you, Space Marine. Bolter unlocked. The 998 Godwin Pattern Bolter is the characteristic Space Marine battle rifle, firing self-propelled explosive tipped rounds. And then we change weapons like so. A little bit more awkward than usual. Oh. There ought to be nothing else then. I may be slightly obnoxious in the early parts as I kind of explore every corner of each area looking for servo skulls or maybe ammo pickups. Starzis warns against using jump packs to leap blindly into enemy fire, and for good reason. Your days as a novice are behind you. Why do you still interpret the Codex so narrowly? I look to its rules for guidance. We all do. But there are also benefits to thinking for yourself. Well said. Rules are made to be broken, boyo. Oh, 
I appreciate the dialogue. It's very to the point and snappy without being overly generic. We all know what that generic action game dialogue can be. Yeah. Mission objective dialogue is how I like to describe it. You still get a bit of that in this game, of course, but... For some reason, there's enough flavoring to just make it a lot more interesting. Sedona's picked up local Imperial Guard communications. They survived under the shadow of that gun. I want to know how. Keep firing! Keep firing! Oh, sorry, guardsman. I couldn't save you in time. Very sorry. Calvary's here. Never fear. Come on, Servo Skulls, where are you? My lord, you have saved us. Rise, Guardsman. You saved yourselves. We would be, my lord, if not for the lieutenant. Where will we find this lieutenant? At the front lines. Follow the trench network to the lieutenant's command bunker. Carry on, guardsmen. We rendezvous with Sedonus, then we find this lieutenant. We need updated intel on the gun battery. Through here, my lords. Head out the upper level and continue through the plaza. The bunker is beyond that. Oh, nice. I still get to pick up the ammo. Do appreciate that. <laughs> I'm amazed they let me, uh. Okay, they don't let me go in there. Somebody's not relieved that I've arrived. A little bit shell shocked. Just little. Captain, I'm in position at a broken monument near the guard lines. pronunciation of space marine so wrong yet, yet so right <laughs> uh sedonis the old grizzled veteran Sergeant, i see you found something to keep you busy worry not captain i've saved some orcs for you the orcs have got that gun well defended no mistake Typical orc behavior would be to dismantle or destroy the gun. And certainly not use it to keep our forces at bay. 
There's a strategy behind it. The leader is no fool. This day is getting interesting. I may have encountered the orc during our jump to the surface. That was the orc ship I saw crash near here, I take it. Did he survive? If the horde hasn't turned on itself, it's still under his control. Hmm. Reached the command bunker. Genetic scan complete. Adeptus Astartes. Weapons authorization yeah. confirmed. That's what we're talking about. Chainsword unlocked. The MK11 Hell's Teeth Chainsword is the close combat weapon of choice among Space Marines, combining terrifying power and great speed. X Strike, Y to stun. See the combat control screen on the pause menu for a complete list of attacks. Still no collectibles. Crafted them to do the little side hop. Just ammo. Come on now. Get that It's slowly coming back to me, the general feel of the game. Look out, drop ship. We got grenades. Yes. Yes. Up. I should have saved the explosive for the uh, the big boy that's gonna show up later. No ammo.
Drop ship incoming. Here he comes. Nice. And that is how it's done. You guys okay? Good, good. We're gonna we're gonna head out now. You guys got that covered. I gotta get a salute from you, soldier. Is, <laughs> is that the woman's voice I hear? Here on the front lines? I never. Lieutenant Mira, 203rd Cadian Regiment. Captain Titus of the Ultramarines. You are in command. I'm all that's left, my lord. Unless my commanders rise from the grave. So far, they seem content to stay put. Lieutenant, the scouts have returned to forward base. How many? Two. Damn. I sent out ten. That damn gun. We don't have the numbers to make an assault. And as you might have seen, it's shooting down all our support vessels. That is why we are here. Leave the gun to us. Come with me then. I should warn you, my lords. We've got a slight orc problem down here. A little bit of that understated humor. Dry humor. Gotta love it. Tell me about the fury. Fury unlocked. You now gain fury every time you damage an enemy. Once a fury meter is full, use left and right sticks to enter fury mode. All your close combat attacks are enhanced and you regain health. Fury mode drains the fury meter, ending when the meter is empty. What do you know of the Titans on this planet? Only that our troops were sent to guard the Titan Invictus at Manufactorum Ajakis. That was two weeks ago, and we've lost contact with them. We need to reach that Titan. Your fastest route is across the rail bridge behind the gun complex. It leads directly to the western gate of the Manufactorum. Guess I'll log still. Get to the front line, go with Lieutenant Mira through the trenches towards the orc infested gun fortress. Oh, wait a second. All this time I was looking for servo skills, but it says I've collected them already. I guess the first time through when I played on, the first time I played through on PC on, on the first couple of missions, I must have grabbed them all, amazingly. My mistake.
So I'll stop being uh, so OCD about uh, checking every corner as I move through here. Get me that field manual. Stuck on bloody forge world and not a single tech priest in sight. I love the executions. <laughs> they're so brutal. And, you know, they're guilt free because you're just demolishing uh, the green skins. Don't feel bad for them. for the uh, bolter. Okay, we need to uh, nip this in the bud right now. Oh, I was gonna execute him. Not that I needed to, but it's fun still. more ammo. I gotta pay attention now. Where's the turret? I didn't even bother using the turret. <laughs> the turret was back here. Oopsies. When they highlight something, like a man-made uh, bolter thing, make sure to use it. But now I can tear it off and take over me. Got so caught up in the uh, the melee. Big old empty space. Nothing happening. Let's keep going. When did you get so big?
back when the game was first released. I remember it having to face an uphill battle against uh, Gears of War 3 because uh, they released very close together. I believe uh, Space Marine released right at the tail end of summer and uh, Gears of War released in October. So we we're talking about like one to one and a half months apart these games were released and uh, obviously Gears of War was coming in with like a full head of steam. Um, previous two games were big hits and I would say this game was definitely overshadowed uh, by Gears of War 3. Stalker Bolter Unlocked. This modified bolter equipped with targeter and high accuracy shells is able to fell enemies from great distances. The Stalker Bolter functions equally well as a precision battle rifle or a sniper weapon. It's a nice little snipey gun. Good thing about this gun is that it's semi-automatic, so it's quite uh, snappy. You can peel off a lot of shots. That's where the orcs breach the gun battery. We haven't been able to make it inside the wall. There just aren't enough of us. You have survived this long on your own, Lieutenant. You have done well, but you are no longer alone. We will retake the gun. You will get your reinforcements. I'll hold you to that. Captain Tight is very much your stoic. We're heading back to the command post, Captain. Good luck. You know, iron jawed protagonist, but uh, he's got a softer side, as as you've just seen. It's good to see. Not just a burly, you know, all gas, all masculinity. <laughs> I think this could be a good a stopping point for this episode, for the first episode of my playthrough. What are you doing there, Sidonis? Gosh, we're recording now. Get a hold of yourself, man. So this is a good a place as any to uh, finish off the first episode of this playthrough series. Thank you very much for watching. Tune in for the next episode where I continue with the Against All Odds mission. And uh, we'll just keep plugging away at this uh, fantastic action shooter melee hybrid game from 2011. Thank you very much once again for watching. I will see you all next time. Take care.